Monster Rancher 1 and 2 DX are getting re-released on the Nintendo Switch, iOS and the PC via Steam on the 9th of December 2021 and there aren't words in the English language to describe how excited I am. Monster Rancher gets no love in the West. Whilst there have been a number of Monster Rancher games released outside of Japan, it's pretty easy to tell that the series' popularity is so limited in the West in comparison that I believe the, the latest console release of a Monster Rancher game outside of Japan was probably Monster Rancher Evo one, or Monster Rancher 4, one of those two, um, and they were on the PlayStation 2. The series just never really took off here. This is a great shame because the first Monster Rancher game for the PlayStation 1 was really incredibly innovative. You see the series of video games and the anime revolves around raising monsters but summoning them through discs. How this was achieved in the very first Monster Rancher game was, the player would enter the summoning chamber and the game would prompt them to open the disc tray on the console on their PlayStation 1. The game would prompt them to remove the Monster Rancher CD disc and insert another CD like a music album or another PlayStation game. Then, based on that CD's metadata, the game would summon a specific monster from there once the player inserted their Monster Rancher game back into the console. Whilst this might not seem incredibly groundbreaking in an era where ray tracing and virtual reality headsets exist, back in 1997 this feature blew people's freaking minds. The, the game was incredibly original. Raising and becoming attached to a specific monster was really rewarding when it came to showing them off in the battle arena. Um, you know, it's a real shame that the games were sort of less and less successful thereafter, to the point where we in the West haven't seen one for some time. And I know what you're thinking, why didn't Monster Rancher blow up if it was so innovative? Well, it's down to a few factors. Whilst it's true that monster taming games were pretty much a license to print money in the 90s, the release of Monster Rancher 1 for the PlayStation would predate that of Pokemon Red and Blue on the Game Boy and Digimon World 1 on the PlayStation also. Meaning that whilst the world was pretty much mad for this genre in that era, it would take the success of those games to begin the trend. By the time this fad had begun, Monster Rancher 1 had been out for a year and was a pretty distant memory in people's minds. The second factor is that both Digimon and Pokemon had infinitely better marketing for their franchises. By the time their games had released, the world was already familiar with their cast and characters because they both had successful anime television shows that the world had fallen in love with already. By the time their games released, people were already wanting more of the franchise, pretty much however they could get it. Unfortunately for Monster Rancher, this wasn't really the case, they sort of did things in reverse and released their games several years before the anime that tied in would go to air. Despite the anime being great and, and even holding up today with some really great review scores across the board, and it looks great, it, it's aged really well, it just never really took off. This is what leads me to be so excited that Monster Rancher 1 and 2DX releases are happening outside of Japan. A port of the game is already available in Japan, it came to iOS and Nintendo Switch in 2019, and since then news about these ports getting translated and available in the West has been pretty quiet to the point where loyal fans of the series pretty much given up hope after the several years of the ports being available over there, but, but not here. This has all changed recently though, and those who are unfamiliar with the series in the 90s are granted an opportunity to give the games a, a try finally. And for those of you who aren't born yet, well, I recommend checking out a few episodes of the show, throw in the re-releases of the games on the Nintendo Switch and Steam wishlist, so you get notified when they re-release um, this December. MGN will certainly be covering the 25th anniversary of the game, and we look forward to hearing all about your wild and wacky creatures in the world of Monster Ranger. So, be sure to leave us a comment or drop by, we'd love to hear from you on the MGN.gg blog, our YouTube channel of course, the new MGN Twitter, at MGN underscore TV, and our Discord, I'll put links all of these in the description of the video. We look forward to hearing about your monsters in Monster Rancher, releasing December 9th. モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスターファーム。モンスター
一生懸命プロモーションしてアニメを一緒に作って広げていったっていう思い入れがあって本当は皆さんのねその熱いメッセージを見てすぐに出したかったんですけどなかなか準備に時間がかかっていたでもちゃんと読んでましたよ一回一回返事をしたかった本当は皆さんに「作ってるよ待っててね」って言いたかったんですけどもようやく今日発表できます「モンスターランチャー1&2」をパックにして今年の冬海外の皆さんにもお届けしたいと思いますいやー長かったですけども当時のあの興奮をね是非思い出してもらって。仲間と対戦してもらって日本のみんなともねいろいろとやり取りできる機能も備えてます当時からモンスターのパラメータとかもチューニングして新しいモンスターファーム1モンスターファーム2そしてモンスターランチャー1モンスターランチャー2がこれで日本と世界と両方揃います是非皆さんお手元でこの冬お楽しみくださいありがとうございました